welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna prepare some Dominican Mama Juana. I know in some of my previous video you have uh, seen me, you have hear me talking about Mama Juana, or probably see me drinking Mama Juana. So in today's video, we're gonna prepare some Dominican Mama Juana. So let me explain to you what Mama Juana is and give you a little history. Dominican Mama Juana is a brown beige drink. They say it produces a mythical power of energy. 800 years ago, when Indians lived on the island, they used to consume this drink for medicinal purposes. So today, Dominicans and others that visit the island drink Mama Juana for the exotic flavor, the air, and the spices. When I was growing up, I was told that drink Mama Juana can help to cure common cold and flu or other severe illness like kidneys, liver, or help with blood circulation. So let's talk about the two-step process of preparing Mama Juana. The first step is the curing process, and the second step is the maceration process. The purpose of the curing process is to take out the bitterness of the ingredient of the mama one. So let's talk about the ingredients of the mama one. We have honey, brugal, which is a Dominican rum, but if you have a brugal, you can use any other dark rum. Uh, as a replacement, you can use bacardi, but don't use a cheap rum because it will taste good. We have a dark sweet wine and the Mama Juana mixture. All right, so let me tell you what is in this mixture. And uh, we have Brazil root, Marapelli, Camellilla, China root, Star Anise, whole globe, raisins, Indian root, Guayacan root, Timaco, cinnamon, Pega Palo, Caro root, and Abraza Palo. All those ingredients are grown naturally in the Dominican Republic. All right, so let's go to the fun part. Whatever size of your bottle of your Mama Juana is, you're gonna do 50% of rum, and then you're gonna do 40% of uh, the dark wine, which is gonna make 90% of your uh, butter, and then we're gonna fill it up the 10% left with honey. So I already marked my butter here, it's my 50% for the rum, and here I have the mark for the 40%, which is gonna make my 90, and then I'm gonna fill the rest with honey. So let's do that. Man, I'm a little bit short right there. Because the reason why, because I took a few shots last night of Rugal, I didn't know that I would miss any shot, so I'm sorry about that. So let's go to the second part, which is the horn. I just realized that before I say honey, but no, that was the one. And now we're gonna fill out the bread with the honey. Right, we're gonna turn this down. I like to turn it down, that way we can mix our all our ingredients very well. And now we're gonna let this serve for about uh, two weeks. It usually you can leave it for minimum one week up to four weeks. I like to do mine for two weeks. Up the longer you leave it, the better it is because this takes more the burner out of the ingredients. This ain't the first step of the process. I will see you in two weeks for the second step of the process. All right guys, welcome back. And we are back here of the, in the second process of how to prepare our Mama Juana. And this is the, the second part is the maceration process. The first part was the curing process, which we put all these ingredients and we let it sit for two weeks. Now it's past two weeks. So now what we have to do, we're just gonna have to cut all that out and then just do the same thing similar to the curing process and uh, put all these ingredients uh, in and just let it sit for about one week. You can leave it uh, for five days or a week. Uh, the longer it stays in, the better it tastes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put all this up. All right, 
let me uh, take it a little bit closer that way you can see how uh, it looks after you have cured your ingredients that's how it will look now this that you just put out most people don't drink that because that have a a strong taste and that bitter taste so most people don't drink that and um, you can drink it if you want to but I recommend it because the taste is very strong me personally I don't like the taste uh, of this like it is but uh, that is except to you all right so our next step to do is just to refill our butter with the same ingredient which is the brocal the one the sweet one and the honey and as you remember like last time it was 50 40 and 10. That's the percentage of all the ingredients you have to pour in. And take it down. Okay, so now. Yeah, that's done. It took me the whole book out. Um, to make it about 50. Now the 40% of one. And do you know I already have my, my border from the previous video, so I'm just gonna uh, making sure that I have my mixture right. And now we're gonna add our That way my ingredient can mix very well and now we just have to leave this mix for about a week that's the minimum you can leave very longer than that remember the longer it takes the better the flavor uh, will be and now we will be back in another week just to see and then we can enjoy this mama one together on a birthday you will see me i will enjoy this mama one and for you to enjoy you will have to make or prepare your own mama one and some people add uh, cinnamon because they like this taste of cinnamon so you can add that extra ingredient if you like the cinnamon taste and that is all what I have right now so we will be back in one week that way we can see the final process of our mama one alright guys welcome back the maceration process is complete. It has been a week where we leave the Mama Juana for the maceration process. And now the last step is just to uh, have a taste and see how it tastes. So I'm going to put you something and I will let you know um, how it tastes. Just like a typical Mama Juana from Dominican Republic, it's strong but at the same time it tastes sweet. So it is a really nice uh, drink. And like I said before, um, we usually keep a bottle of Mama Juana at home and we just drink it, have a shot whenever we feel like it. And also when it's a house party or it's a festival on the street, people be walking around with their Mama Juana just drinking drink it straight or some other people drink Mama Juana and also President at the same time. That's why I have my co president I always keep me a co president at home. Look at that, just how I like it. Very cold. Then you can. If you would like to prepare your own mama juana, I will leave the information in the description below. Also, I will leave the information for where about uh, the mama juana meets online. And this is a very nice drink. It really tastes 
good and it's something that we are very proud of in the Dominican Republic. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next one.